Synopsis embracing um, Risk Five um, IP. So uh, Synopsis uh, not only has a tool chain, right, that other companies use to uh, create their their own S SOCs, but they also have intellectual property that uh, that that comes in in into bear here. And quite frankly, if if you look at uh, I didn't do these rankings. Uh, but it's from a, a company called uh, IP, IP Nest. Um, Synopsis is the largest foundation IP, top interface IP, so think IO, physical IP vendor, and is only second to ARM in CPU IP. So they are a powerhouse with intellectual property. And up to this point, right, they had done uh, ARM uh, base CPUs, but now the company is diving into uh, Risk Five processors, and it's not all Risk Five processors. They have a nice portfolio that is targeted at the markets you would expect that Risk Five is is doing pretty well at, like industrial, a uh, lot of interest in automotive, uh, storage, uh, networking, and there's there's even uh, a lot of interest in in consumer. And that's what uh, Synopsis is hitting. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying consumer PCs. I'm thinking more about consumer IoT wearables, uh, hearables, and things like that. And the company brought in three levels of performance, all the way from a 32-bit embedded processor uh, for the optimal uh, low power to a 64-bit multi-core host processor, uh, with what they're saying is 25% higher performance. Uh, than the uh, uh, HS, HS6X uh, cores, and you link it in with an AMBA uh, interface. So they have a good, better, and best uh, to roll this out. And I think the market that they're going after, it makes sense to me. Uh, so congratulations uh, to Synopsys and the Risk Five uh, Consortium. Yeah, Pat, I know uh, we're on a bit of a hard stop, but let's just say expect more from us on this one. Um, the synopsis story is the next untold arm story, potentially, in terms of how much potential it has. There's a growing uh, library of capabilities, um, and they continue to be innovating at a really great pace. So, um, you know, the work they're doing across embedded, across storage, across IoT, there is a ton of expansion. It's happening very, very quickly. There's new leadership. Um, uh, you know, there's a bunch of new uh, IP and I, Pat, I think they're an exciting story. I think they're one of the kind of quiet and untold and one to really keep an eye on. They are, I think in the entire semiconductor value chain, uh, the tools to do this, if the IP is more readily available and you can take it all the way to the foundry and and put that in there. And, and we've seen companies like, look at AWS, look at Apple, uh, look at all the folks. I mean, they're using tools like this, right? They typically are using Synopsys and, and Cadence uh, to do this, uh, Synopsys got a first mover advantage uh, with Synopsys.ai, and I'm interested to see. I mean, in the big swings too, like 35% uh, efficiency when it comes to things like uh, testing and design.